to the Xbox collecting channel. So I decided to change the parameters a bit. I'm not just going to do Xbox 360 games, I'm going to do most of everything Xbox. I'm going to collect the original, the um, one, Series X, so I'm going to get some bits for that, but mainly 360, because I do love the 360. That is my all time favourite console. I've been collecting for quite a few years, so, oh, no, oh, that's a lie. I, I had that a few years ago when it first came out. I've only been collecting since January, and what we just about to hit Feb uh, September now, aren't we? So. But I did do footage of me going shopping and stuff, but it didn't work out very well. I, I forgot to press record on the camera or something. I didn't get any footage of me going shopping, I'm afraid, this time. So I can't add that to the shopping list. But I did pick up some 360 games. But I picked up the first one, which is... Evil Within. Collector's Edition. So this one comes with the book, a 3D card, and of course the game with manual and a reversible cover. So I picked that up. But I've already got this in my collection. But I picked up from CEX for two quid because they sell it for the same price as they sell a normal one, which is good. So I'm gonna put that up on for sale. You know, just ask for a couple of quid more, maybe ask for four quid for it. At least I made a profit of two quid, which I can use to buy another game later. We'll see how that goes. <coughs> <coughs> What the hell is going on? Where am I? Kidman, where are you? Connolly! Okay, next, I picked up Medal of Honor Airborne. I got the other two, so I needed to get this one for the collection. So I picked this up, I got this from CEX. They had it in there, they had it in stock. It was a pound, so I thought I've, I've, I'm gonna pick this one up, add to the collection, just for a collection, really. Um, yeah, what can I say about it? It's just another Medal of Honor war game, really, so it yeah, worth a try, I'll give it a go. And see how it plays. Next, I picked up Supreme Commander. This was in CX, it was only a couple of quid, so I thought I'd pick it up, give it a try, see how it goes. I don't know nothing about it. It's a game. It's worth a try. It could be fun. It might not be fun. Come to the manual disc. It was only a couple of quid in CX. They literally only just got it in stock because it was behind the counter. And I asked a bloke about it, and he, he said, oh, well, yeah, I've got these, and showed me the ones they just got in. So I picked it up, and I give it a go, see how it goes. Supreme Commander. So next, 
I picked up Wolfenstein. It was £2.50. Don't know if the camera is focusing on it. It doesn't want to. But that was £2.50. Come in the manual again, disc. It was with the pile of like the Supreme Command. It was on that pile, not put out yet. But I thought I'd pick it up. I've got the first choice. I've not seen this one around before. Where, well, where I am, anyway. So I had to get it. Like I say, I've, I played a couple of Wolfenstein games a few years ago. Not very many. I played a couple on the Mega Drive. One on the Mega Drive, sorry. I played that, but I haven't touched them in a while. Give it a go. See how it goes. I'm over here! Supreme Commander 2. I should have done this one last time, really, not now. Um, it's Supreme Commander 2, I don't know nothing about it. It was in the same pile again, so the same guy probably traded in all these games, I reckon. Um, like I say, I'm going to give it a go. Worth a try, if anything. It's something to add to the collection. I think this one was £2, and I'll give it a go. Okay, then I went and got Hawk 2. I got the first one. Got, I think I've actually got them all, to tell you the truth. All the um, Tom Clancy ones for the thing. I've decided to go out and collect them all. Okay, it comes with the manual and the disc. And according to the front of the cover, I paid £1.50 for it. So it wasn't too bad. Um, like I say, not played it. I'm afraid I probably will never play it, to be honest. I do buy a lot of games. Where I work a lot, I don't get a chance. But I've got this, so I'm going to give this one a try. Attention enemy aircraft, this is Colonel Denisov, commanding the fighter stations of your starboard wing. Alter course to 060 and descend to 2000 meters, or you will be fired upon. Okay, next on the list, Invasion. Pick this up, it's quite a good game, from what I can read about it. Disc and manual. The only problem with this one is... If can't see it very well, but there's a big rip right in the cover around there. So, someone didn't look after it great, or they cut something on top of the box, or something, you know, done something with it, and kind of ruined the box. But it's another game to give a try to. I probably won't play it fully, I'll just give it a go. So that is Invasion. Come on, let's move! Someone help! Hey. Okay, so next, I got Turning Point Fall of Liberty. I've heard about it, I know nothing about it. Pretty much a common thing here, isn't it? You notice that? Manual on disc, brilliant condition, excellent condition, absolutely perfect. Guess it wasn't that good then, so the person didn't play it very much, otherwise it'd be bad condition. The disc has got no scratches or anything, so I'm taking it, that's not a very good game. As I said before, I'd give it a try, see how I get on with it, and decide if I like it or not.
Pila pinata party animals. People have told me it's a good game. Not played any of them, never given any of them a chance. Game of the disc in manual. It was owned by somebody called Amos. Well, that's what it says inside anyway. As I've mentioned so many times before, I know nothing. I, I'm a newbie at this. I've got games that I play that I brought, like, behind me. I've got um, Knights of the Old Republic Star Wars. I sat there and completed that, and I sat there and completed the second one. Some games don't really appeal to me, but if I want to get an Xbox 360 collection, you've got to get some of the ones you don't want. I bought this. I'll give it a go. For this? Yeesh! That's gotta hurt. Look out! Don't want to be in. I want to see the paper fly. Right on Feasley Bell has been trying for days. He is ready to run around the whole island. You're welcome to join him. So as I said, I... I buy a lot of games. I've got. I'll, I'll do a game collection video one day. Show off what I've got and what I haven't got. Well, can't really show off what I haven't got, but you can see what I haven't got and what I'm, my plans are to buy. I've decided to change the parameters a little bit. I'm very indecisive. I can never make my mind up what I want to do. But I come up with the idea that I'm going to give myself twenty pound a week to spend on games. I can buy games to sell to get more money, so I can spend more money the week after. I'm going to buy games that I can keep and go into the collection. Um, I could either save some money that week and put it to next week's money to buy a more expensive game. Um, I just thought I'd see how that goes. I'll give it a try. It could work out quite well. I might completely mess up and see a game I want that's more expensive and pay more money for it. That's my usual MO, but you never know. So I'm going to give it a go, see what I can get, get some games him a try. Um, I'm looking at thinking about building up my um, original Xbox collection so I've only got like 60 games I think for the original Xbox when I'm on like 400 and something for the Xbox 360. Um, I do have PlayStation games, I do have PlayStation 3, 4, 1 and 2, I've got a lot of 2 but I, I'm an Xbox person, I like Xbox I don't know what it is, I just prefer Xbox. So, we'll see what I can get and see what I can get next week. Thank you for watching. Remember to click, subscribe, subscribe comment, I'll answer your comments. Um, and click like, please. Just try and get me out there a little bit, see how it goes. I, I'm doing this because it's fun. But, like I said, I don't get to play games very often, really. Life gets in the way at the moment, but hopefully I will do soon. Thank you for watching.